Oh no. What what is this? Hey guys, now being a 5th dimensional solver myself, I'm going to explain my 5D cooldown and why I should or maybe think about going to 6 dimensions. But to be honest guys, I'm not really going to 6D anytime soon, maybe in the future, but we have a long way to go. Now we all know the pain of what 60 has to offer. Arid, frightened, very afraid. There's a six colored piece. I don't, ah, <laughs> I wanna go home. Sand, yellow, orange, pink, seafoam, blue. What am I saying? What words am I speaking? Yes, my friends. Unfortunately, that is 60. Now this is a very big puzzle you're about to see. I'm gonna explain why I'm on a 5D cooldown going to six dimensions. Now, do you remember that video when I was first looking at that 5D cube for the first time and thinking how the heck does this 5D cube work and how does it rotate and all that kind of stuff? This is that same video but now we're at 6D now. There she is. This is a 6D 3x3 or 3 to the 6 or 3x3x3x3x3x3. Three by three by three by three by three by three. This is on a program called MC70 which was a program released in 2010 made by Andre Astrodin. This was made two years after MC5D was released in 2008 by Royce Nelson. This broke the record of having a 6D 3x3 and a 7D 3x3. Now let's not even go near 7D yet. Now this puzzle is a very big puzzle, a lot bigger, actually three times bigger than a 3 to the 5, the puzzle that I'm used to. Each side on this thing is one 5D side. If you think about it, it's like a force 3 to the 5 as one side. It will rotate like 3 to the 5 rotations on one side and there are 12 of these force 3 to the 5s interconnected with each other. With the stickers, yes we are not looking at 40 stickers anymore like on MC5D, these are 5D stickers. They may not look like 5D stickers in this projection, but these are literally 5D stickers. In here we have 1Cs, 2Cs, 3Cs, 4Cs, 5Cs and the new piece type, which is 6Cs. 6 colour pieces? What even is this? Not to mention triple RKT and other things as well. Yes, in this puzzle we have the triple RKT, which means RKT in a 3 of the 5 in the centre of the 3 of the 6, thus double RKT in a 3 of the 4 in the middle of this middle 3 of the 5 that's in the centre of this 3 of the 6, and triple RKT in a 3 of the 3 in the middle of this 3 of the 4 that's in the middle of this 3 of the 5 that's in the centre of this 3 of the 6. <sighs> then, we all know the pain of 5D Monotwist. Imagine RKT in that. Oh man, seriously, no way. Flipped 4C, 5C pairs also happens on this puzzle too. Like in 5 dimensions, we are first introduced with mirrored 3C, 4C. So on this puzzle, we are dealing with mirrored 3C, 4C and mirrored 4C, 5C. Just something to consider as well. The 2 to the 6 is what we get when we turn off all the other piece types and end up with the 60 pieces. Or the corners of this 3 to the 6. Now, you can't actually do 2 to the 6 on MC70. You have to go to Magic Puzzle Ultimate, or known as MPU. Now this is a 2 to the 6 in MPU. Now let's be honest guys, I'm not the one for MPU projection. I find it a little bit too difficult for me and it's a little bit too messy. But if you cater for MPU projection, then go for it. The 2 to the 6 is 2 interconnected 2 to the 5s, so we would have to solve each one simultaneously. Now the question for you guys is, should 5D SP start and continue up to 60? At this point I'm not ready to go higher, but maybe I'll consider it later on. Then if I do complete 60, we can look at other 60 puzzles. But for now, I'm loving my 5D craze. We have more 5D content to cover, so why don't you hit that like button and subscribe for more 5D content and tutorials. It's the best thing to do if you ever want to give 5D a go. So thank you guys for watching my first 60 video on how this puzzle works. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to get to the next dimension later on and hopefully we can solve 60 in the future.